So what I want to do with this video is just to try and highlight a process that can be, or should be followed, I think, um, when it comes to strength development with youth football or youth soccer players. So if you're a parent of a, of a youth football or your coach, um, and you have any questions in relation to, you know, what's the process that they should follow to become strong, you know, because lots of kids are asking these questions and maybe you don't understand, you know, where you should start and, and, and how things should progress, okay? Um, this is kind of the process that we would consider with any kids coming into us, so just, just let me step you through it and uh, you, can, you can see what you think. Um, this is represented by a pyramid. Uh, the reason it's represented by, by a pyramid is because you know, the starting point is the base, and once that base is nice and strong, everything else will, will, will build on top and uh, will, be, will be stable, you know? So it's kind of a metaphorical thing as well. Um, the base of the pyramid, we talk about body weight training, movement skills, and with kids, this is really important. This is kind of the first stage. Um, we make sure that this is okay, and this is something, whether a kid is 12 or 16, we, we identify if there are any issues here. And once we've addressed this, then we can move up to the next layer and we're talking about body weight training. But now we're adding in resistance, so whether it's a medicine ball or bands or something light, um, just to try and push them on um, from there, okay? Once we've addressed that, we're talking about stepping them up to the likes of um, training with the bar, okay? So uh, you see the Olympic bars in the gym. Uh, with kids, we'd start with something light, you know, studio bars, weight bars or technique bars to, to actually teach them how to lift those bars, but those bars are very light, so they're, they're comfortable to carry and move and, uh, and use. And we're still looking at their body weight training and making sure that we reinforce this level here. Once we've established and started to master using the bars, then we're talking about real strength development. Um, and so over a period of time, we look to, to uh, help them to prove their strength. Um, and again, it depends on the kids, but usually it's kind of a straight line thing, just gradually improving their strength you know, modifying the program and, um, and seeing progress uh, with the strength. And we start to consider, you know, the sport they play. So, you know, certain strength uh, exercises that would factor in the fact that they are footballers. Um, moving up from that level, once they've started to become strong, we're now looking to advance, okay? And uh, when we're talking about advanced strength, you know, as the kids get older in particular, um, they're more capable, more able to lift at higher intensities. And that's something we try and match up uh, with, their, with, their, with their training. Uh, very much sport specific uh, stuff, so injury prevention uh, and uh, considering the sport they play, which is soccer, and, um, and so strength exercises need, um, uh, need to be relevant to the sport that they play. Moving up to the last level, then we're talking about elite level, okay, and these are professional footballers. These are guys that are now sort of very specialised in the position they play and they train just to play and perform well in that position. Um, so any strength work done here needs to be very specific to, to that. Um, to those goals um, and again it's sport specific so it's position specific or, or just in general uh, the game of game football uh, that we're talking about. Um, one thing to point out is that we look at players coming into our gym as having a training age so you know they may be 12, 14, 16 but in terms of being in the gym they might be, might be zero, they might be you know babies. So if that's the case then we're going to start at this level here and then over time in terms of years, we're talking about progressing them from this level to the top level. And this is something that takes a long time. And the best example, real world example of that I can think of, um, that people would have seen over the last sort of 10 years, uh, 12 years, um, would be Cristiano Ronaldo. When he arrived at United, um, would have been sort of lower down on the, on the pyramid, um, looked like a teenager, was, was, was quite you know, slim and gangly. Um, you know, and I think arriving at United was one of the best things that happened to him because obviously he was exposed to this type of approach in, in terms of his own physical development and he's gone on from there and now when you look at him, you look at him as a really well developed athlete and an amazing footballer. So we consider this to be really important. We don't rush through any stages of the pyramid um, and we don't try and push kids on unless they're ready. Very, very concerned about that one. And, and, and to represent that sort of on the board, if we were to rush with the base of the pyramid as an example um, and we didn't spend enough time on this area as you can see the pyramid is now really unstable and that can lead to issues down the line so um, this is sort of in relation to strength development for youth soccer if you're a parent of a youth footballer or your coach keep in mind these different levels and um, hopefully this is helpful to you in some way if you have any questions um, that you want me to answer please send me a message if you found this video useful please let me know please like it please share it Thank you.